Yeah, Lincoln University in Christchurch. Hi, I'm Pippi. I'm here at Petoni Teacher School. Hey, I'm Nick R4. You're watching Fresh. Hosted by everybody. Cool the guys are out here in the 678 and you're watching Fresh. Just finish the workout, then I'm about to go home and have a feed. Worldwide Fresh this season. Fresh from the people, for the people. We're keeping it fresh from the people, for the people. Let's do what we have on for today while we practice some dance. Oh, yeah! Let's see what's coming up on today's show. It's the time when your family hands you your key to full freedom and independence. My older cousins still require permission slips to go up. And they're 35. Because can you do this? But can your dad do this? But can your mom do this? But can your cat do this? Wow. Your mind <laughs> tastes it's really salty. Check it out now. Do it something, do it something different from the rest. Rob up with an abyss, you never hear the messiah. Do it something, do it something different from the rest. Hi, my name is Indira Stewart. My Tongan last name is Indira Moala. Um, one thing you might not know about me is that how you really pronounce my name is Indira or Indira. Uh, it's an Indian name. I was named after the late Prime Minister of India, Indira Gandhi, who was unfortunately assassinated about a couple of months before I was born. My dad really liked her, so he named me after her. It took me many years to actually realise how to pronounce my name properly. I was lucky I had the same taxi driver uh, for work for about a couple of years almost. Uh, shout out to Harpreet Singh, who would often, whenever I got in the taxi, he'd be like, hey, Indira, Indira. And then I was like, man, Harpreet, I need to honor the Indian language better. You know, here I am saying, you guys need to pronounce specific names properly, but actually I need to honor uh, the heritage of my name too. So how you pronounce it is Indira. So another thing you might not know about me is I played the piano accordion for about 15 years competitively alongside my older sister. I am a former multi-time New Zealand champion and South Pacific champion in the accordion. We were playing in competitions and federations where everybody else we were competing against were either Falangi or Asian. And the great thing about that experience was that it taught us how to not be intimidated by other cultures, uh, but to build friendships and relationships, to learn about other communities, and also know that standing alongside the rest of them, whether it's Balangi or any other um, ethnicity, we are still talented, we're still um, smart, we're still good at what we can do, and that we're not any different. I feel like by luck of the draw, I just fell into being mainstream. It was like, you know, by chance. and. I was privileged to be able to tell Pacific stories in a mainstream newsroom and then to move on to tell actually stories about crime, stories about uh, social welfare, stories about housing from a Pacific lens. And that, that meant a lot to me um, to be able to contribute in that way and represent my community and my community's voice. And also it's important for me to represent other diversity in New Zealand if I am able to do that. In terms of uh, presentation, because you're up there knowing that you're brown, you're a woman, and you're, pre you're representing where you come from, I'd have to say that my journey in terms of embracing uh, 
my authenticity as a brown woman has, it's, it's been a long journey to get here because most newsreaders have short, straight hair, they have bobs, or, you know, slightly long, but it's still kind of straight hair. Uh, there are very few that have a different kind of texture. And so I didn't know how I would be accepted by uh, my network and even the audience, the mainly Palangi audience that are watching. In my network, I went to like a bunch of um, managers and a lot of them were like Balangi men, you know, and, and saying, hey, I just want to wear my natural hair. And I was lucky that they were like, go for gold, you know, you, you want, we want you to be you. It's one thing for someone to give you um, that encouragement and it's another thing as a brown woman to try and accept your own beauty, your own natural beauty. But I was like, you know, I've got this platform and while I'm up here saying, hey, I'm representing uh, my community, my Pacific community, it's integrity to look like my community, to embrace the women that look look like they do in my own community, instead of trying to look like other women or, or perhaps uh, more, you know, a white Western you know, beauty perception. It was a, a long journey for me to um, fought towards authenticity, and it's still going every day but I'm grateful for the support that I've had. For other curly-haired women, the first day I wore my hair uh, natural or curly, I had my social media inbox was just flooded with a lot of uh, Pacific women and even Balangi women with curly hair who were like, what products are you using? Or the hashtag free the curl, you know, hashtag natural hair movement, all of that. Um, and so I'm, so I'm so stoked that I made that decision. Okay, that's it, I'm Indira Stewart. Um, now you know a little bit more about me. You're watching Fresh. Here's what's coming up on the show today. Karema. Wow, wow, wow. A citizen rotten Robert, and you already knew that. Oh my gosh, yes, Robert. The disqualified <gasps> police officer. Shh, give me the bone, don't tell anyone. <laughs> you don't have to get all fancy for the 21st, but trust me, nobody wants to risk looking bad in their auntie's tagged photos on Facebook. The pressure is real. This is Sam Lusone from the Gold Coast Islands, and you're watching Fresh. What's up everyone? It's your girl Tree. We are here at One Love 2021 and you are watching Fresh. Keep it fresh. It's time for some fresh comedy. <laughs> Flashlight, check, button, check, radio. Can I get it on ya? Check. <gasps> My snacks. <sighs> check. <gasps> Slow down. Five hundred dollar ticket. Five hundred dollar ticket. Here you go. Nice and slow when you walk through, okay? What are those? Those shoes. They're hideous. That's a $5,000 ticket. Off you go. My number's at the bottom. <laughs> what? That's a fine, darling. What? Fine. Off you go. And don't wear that colour ever again. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie in the chocolate factory. 4468, coming in, coming out. Do you got the cat, me? Copy, copy, copy. Cat, cat, cat. What in the Charlie in the chocolate factory is going on? We have a situation down in the sector five. She's back again. She's come fired up, and I think you might need to pass on this one. Over. Pass? Do you know who I am? I am the protector of this mall. The only pass she's gonna get is a trespass notice. Over and out. Excuse you? I don't care if you were here first. Let go of the trolley now before I call my daddy who's a lawyer. And he's gonna lock you up for a very long time. 
Do you really want me to call my daddy? I'm gonna call him in three, two... Stop right there! Karina. Well, well, well. A citizen rotten... Robert, and you already knew that. Oh, my gosh, yes, Robert! It's a disqualified <gasps> police officer. Shh, you mean, don't, don't tell anyone. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't even recognise you. I know, darling, it's because of the glow-up. No, I was thinking blow-up. <laughs> I get it. You're just bitter that I beat you in that pageant all those years ago. All those years ago? Yeah. Must have been the dinosaur years. But I still beat you. Because you know what? I have talent. My whole family has talent. No, 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 no. I don't think it was a talent section. Because can you do this? But can your dad do this? But can your mum do this? But can your cat do this? I don't think so. Your dog can't even do this. <laughs> Step back, Kevin! <laughs> Is that the police? Are they on their way? Gosh, this will be good. Next time on Mall Crops, Miami Street in Ottawa. Freeze, freezing! Oh, hey, darling. You should have just hopped on your scooter and scooted right back to your little office under the stairs. Go! I'm sorry. No, he's... Get off me! Another day in paradise. Hey, it's Avai Fasavalu here, and you're watching Fresh. Hello for Freshies, my name is Samson Chanboon, and I'm here in the beautiful Mangare Town Centre. I'm just waiting for a mate. Kia ora na Freshies, my name is Italia Hunt and we're chilling here in my local library and you are watching Fresh. Go away. Oh bro. I'll say this first, this is not a smoothie, this is a milkshake. But it is delicious. To be honest, the only thing that I don't like about it is how like unhealthy it tastes. My name is Anneli Ati, and you're watching Fresh. Today on Kids of the Kitchen, we are making smoothies. I think our smoothie is really great because we have lots of mango, we have all those like kind of tropical fruits, and then we've also added in some nice sweet vanilla sort of yogurt to give it like some thickness. When people drink our smoothie, I think that they're going to love it because you can taste almost everything we put in there and it's made by us, so obviously they're gonna love it. <laughs> that one looks nice. Looks pretty fancy. I think it will be really nice. I think they really worked hard on the presentation and I like how they added the flowers and the crystals. First impressions, this looks professional. The presentation looks like a Gordon Ramsay, like smoothie. It doesn't taste like banana. Yeah, but there's definitely yogurt in there. Yeah. Oh, that is mango. <laughs> I told you. Um, I'm a little disappointed. I think it would taste good for people that like the stuff in it. Oh, so the smoothie was real nice. It tastes more like a juice than a smoothie, but overall it was real nice, and I think I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10. Out of 10, I'd say maybe 9. Overall, I think it tasted really good, so I'm going to go with 7.5. I think I would give it, like, a 7. So our smoothie, it is a banana, peanut butter, egg and almond milk. So that's all the ingredients. And my mum made this recipe last year in lockdown. 
So basically, we just froze bananas um, and just put all the ingredients together in the blender. And yeah, tastes real nice. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, it looks okay. Um, I wouldn't rate it out of 10 though. It looks very basic, not too over the top. It's just keeping it nice and natural. Quite a lot of banana. Oh, I'm tasting peanuts. Oh, mm-mm. You -mm. <laughs> mind? <laughs> it tastes it's really salty. <laughs> it is. I really like that you can taste all of like what's in there. So I'm gonna give it a eight and three quarters out of ten. I'm gonna be the tough ju judge, and I'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of ten. Sorry. I feel like as soon as it touches your mouth, you can kind of tell what all the ingredients in it are. So overall, I think I'd give it. Seven. I think I give it um, <laughs> a six out of ten. Basically, it was kind of uh, just very spontaneous. We just saw Oreos in the cabinet and decided that we were going to make an Oreo smoothie. It, we had a taste test and it tasted really good. Um, first impressions, uh, it looks very beautiful and when I smelt it, it smelt like like fresh cake, like chocolate cake. To be honest, I thought this was a milkshake, not a smoothie, but overall I think it looks real nice. Very nice, very nicely presented. Oh, bro. That's really good. I'll say this first, this is not a smoothie, this is a milkshake, but it is delicious. To be honest, the only thing that I don't like about it is how like unhealthy it tastes. Cake bits add quite a lot of flavour, because mm. they've crumbled some cake into there. So, this smoothie milkshake was really nice, and my rating out of 10 is probably like 8 to 9, but I'll say 8 because of the unhealthy factor. Yeah, it's quite unhealthy, but other than that, my rating out of 10 is uh, an eight and a half. Um, I loved the taste, a nine and a 10. Uh, my rating is probably the same as Ava, and I'm gonna go with nine out of 10. That's all the time we have today, Freshies. That's all the time we have for today, Freshies. Oh, uh, unfortunately, that's all we have for today. Big shout out to my girls at Fraternity Central. Well, hey, come back next week for more. And remember, keep scanning and keep it fresh. Are you tuning in next week? Same time, same place. Later, boat. Make sure to keep it fresh. Keep it fresh! Let's go. Quick shout out to both my cousins, Rocky and Dunedin, and Jar in Newcastle. NZ Sports taking advantage of Pacifica athletes. Today, we're talking New Zealand sports. Are they down with the brown, or are they downing the brown? You better say it with your chick. Hello for love, everybody. I'm Poetic, and this is Did You Know. We started in the chicken shack in Mokoto first. So this is how we fund the music, by this business here, and it all goes full circle, comes back around with touring as well. This actually started with 30 t-shirts at the trunk of my car. Have they been using brown riders for the script? Command some mix. Okay, maybe there are no brown riders. Mm, yeah. Sharon is not apologetic. 
is what he just made, dude. So it's, I feel like that's art.